Welcome once again to The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. And now a little bit of history. We're going back and starting with the year 2015. Uh, sometime last week we shared uh, um, pretty much same you know, story and that was with regards to the fight against corruption when President Muhammad Bari had come in and had um, you know, declared that there was going to be a probe of uh, um, governments before him. Good luck Jonathan and I believe um, Umaru Musayara Dua. Uh, for their funding and for corruption in the funding in the fight against insecurity. But on this day in 2015, the Ijo Youth Council called on President Muhammad Abwari to extend the anti-corruption uh, uh, war all the way to 1999 and not just Good Luck Jonathan's government. It said, um, of course, Ijo Youth Council, who uh, basically kinsman of uh, from President Good Luck Jonathan, and said that he should skip the, or rather he shouldn't skip of Asunjo era, but instead go all the way back uh, to 1999 to probe um, every single, you know, alleged mismanagement of funds uh, since 1999. He said, you know, that he should, uh, well, they said he shouldn't concentrate on just uh, good luck, uh, Jonathan. And this was also, or this was mostly actually promoted by uh, Udeng's Eradiri, uh, who was, of course, the leader of the Joy Youth uh, Council. Um, they said it was suspicious for Buari to choose to probe only Jonathan's administration and leave out Obasanjo's uh, regime. They noted that the Buari regime, um, if they wanted to be taken seriously in the anti-corruption war, they have to go all the way back to 1999. Um, it was stated then that the president's decision to leave out the eight-year period covered by Obasanjo's um, um, uh, presidency suggests that the current anti-corruption crusade is being man manipulated to spare some sacred cows. Well, that was, of course, the reaction of the Ijo Youth Council to President Muhammadu Buhari's, um, you know, declaration of a corruption war uh, in the previous administration of Good Luck Abele Jonathan. Also on this day, and this is a sad one now, it's the death of one of the most famous people in the world. Um, one of the most, they call her, uh, her our mother's favorite person, and that was Princess Diana. She died on this day in 1997 um, in a car accident in Paris. Uh, she was uh, leaving, you know, I think an event and heading back to a hotel when the car crashed after, you know, they were allegedly being chased by paparazzi. Her driver, Henri Paul, um, according to autopsy reports, was way above the alcohol limit uh, to be driving and crashed into one of the pillars in a tunnel in France. Um, but her death basically brought up a lot more controversy um, and a lot more conversations concerning who she was and, you know, the reasons why, you know, there were conspiracy theories that she may not have died in a, you know, just a regular accident, but that she was actually murdered. And that was because of Dodi Faid, her boyfriend at that time, uh, son of, a, of an Egyptian billionaire. Um, there was also rumors that she may have been pregnant at that time. She had gotten a divorce from Prince Charles also at that time. And also, you know, the Princess Diana, because of the life that she lived, you know, as a princess, um, you know, it basically was rumored. Or it, it basically looked like she went very, very much against the British establishment and all that it stood for. She got herself involved in politics, got herself involved in, in, involved in a lot of things that, you know, she felt were doing good, you know, talking about HIV, landmines, um, um, human trafficking, some of all the things that you would expect a princess. You know, and of course, you can see it in today's world that a lot of the royals stay silent, don't bother themselves, you know, to, you know, get involved in politics and, you know, governance and some of the things that are going on in the world. But Princess Diana was not that person. She was, uh, you know, a very, very huge, you know, humanitarian. She was a person who didn't want to stay silent when she saw ills going on in different parts of the world. And it was described as going against the establishment. And also, because of her relationship with uh, Dodi El Fayed, there were rumors that she was pregnant and that the um, royal family would not accept her, be, you know, mothering a child from, you know, that person at that time. Um, conspiracy theories concerning her death, you know, said so much also. Why an autopsy wasn't carried out, you know, why her blood sample wasn't taken after she, was, um, after she died. Um, why the cameras at the tunnel, suddenly, all 11 of them, suddenly stopped working a night before uh, the accident. Um, who exactly was driving the car that the, you know, that uh, well, tipped their Mercedes uh, and, and made it drive into the pillar in the, in the tunnel. 
who are the motorcycle riders that were, you know, seemed to be following the Mercedes just before it got into the tunnel. There's a, a lot of, you know, many, many conspiracy theories. Um, and of course, why a proper autopsy wasn't carried out on Princess Diana and her boyfriend at that time. Um, and some of all those questions, was the accident and the impact of the accident also big enough to have killed Princess Diana? Was she injected with something after the accident? Some of all those questions were things that were never answered. And even to date, there's still no actual figures or proof of how fast the Mercedes was driving. Um, and, you know, it feels like a lot of those questions were swept under the rug and um, where, you know, they, they decided to let those things, you know, just pass. And those are some of the reasons why, you know, it's been rumored here and there that uh, she was murdered and not, you know, didn't just die in an accident. Um, pretty much the same thing with the who killed John F. Kennedy. Some of the things that we may never know <laughs> in the world that we live in. There are some of these, you know, bits of information. And also, who really was responsible for 9-11? There's a very, very interesting things that have happened in our time that um, the truth may never, ever be revealed. But anyway, on this day in 1997, the, the world lost one of its favorite people, Princess Diana. All right, stay with us. Uh, we're taking a short break. When we come back, we're getting into our first major conversation for today. It is about the ASU strike. The um, union has threatened to once again go back on strike after the federal government failed to go through with the promises made in the last memorandum of action that was signed after they called off the, the last strike. We'll get into that conversation after the short break here on PLOS TV Africa. Stay with us.